What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and today I'm out here reviewing the 2021 BMW X5M. So this is the 2021 BMW X5M, and this is no ordinary SUV. This is BMW's top of the line sports SUV, and it is absolutely insane. Just the way it looks is absolutely menacing for an SUV. I have actually never seen one of these in person, and it is amazing. This paint is Marina Bay Blue Metallic from BMW and it looks absolutely gorgeous under the Texas sun. Under the hood, we got a twin turbocharged V8 from BMW making 600 horsepower. And if that's not enough for you, you can get this car in the competition package, which bumps it up to 617. Looking under the hood, very clean engine bay, very easy to look at. Uh, I don't think this is going to be very easy to work on for the people of you that have one at home. These bars look like they cover most of the area where you would normally be able to work. But it does look cool with the painted sort of engine bay. You don't see that with a lot of car manufacturers now. All the little blue accents that you see on the outside of the car, you can now see in the engine bay. What helps this car go so fast is BMW's 8-speed M Steptronic transmission, which on the way over here, the short drive is very good, very crisp, and it makes you feel like you're very in control of the car. It does have the paddle shifters if you did want to take it up to the next level of sportiness, but now let's take a look inside. Hopping inside of the X5M, you are immediately greeted by the sport bucket seat style seats. These things, every time you get in, they kind of like settle you down in the car and it just feels amazing. Feels like someone's hugging you at all times, which is what you're gonna need with this 600 horsepower freaking SUV. And one thing that really stands out to me is the heads up display of this car. It looks absolutely amazing with the speed on the left and the RPMs on the right. And then you have all your settings for your different components of the interior. You get your comfort, suspension, steering, brakes, and uh, I'm guessing the speed at the top is very efficient. Then you got your gas range down there in the bottom left and your temps down there on the bottom right. And if you think that that is cool, you can pop it into M mode and it consolidates the screen just down to two bars, one on the left and one on the right. And man, does it look cool when you rip it. So we've been messing around with the settings of the car. Some super cool things that we noticed is this is the first car I've ever been in with massaging seats. I know they come in a lot of cars nowadays, but right here on the left for the driver, this top button is massage seats. This one's the seat memory, I'm guessing, for the number two, and so are these. But this is the magic button. I'm getting a massage right now doing this car review, and I couldn't be happier, let me tell you. There are different ways to set it up if you go tap it once. If you click it and turn it on, it goes into the settings, and you can choose exactly what area needs massaging. 
We want the whole body though. We want the whole body activation for maximum comfort while we're in our freaking M series BMW. Nothing is cooler than that. And also on the steering wheel, you have M1 and M2. You can set two different modes for whenever you want to really get into it. You click it, you're in your first M setting, or if it's a second driver or something, M2, boom. The second setting for the M series, which is super sick. Then we got the actual heads up display up here in the windshield. You can see you have your revs and your speed. On the door here, you can see you have your Bauer and Wilkins sound system, and then you are greeted. Here's a better look at the seats. Absolutely beautiful, like honeycomb stitched leather. Very good quality seats. And then up here in the A pillars, you have some very nice Alcantara right there. And with it being a sports car, there is no shortage of room in these back seats. You can definitely fit all the boys back here if you wanted to go on a road trip or something and be comfortable. But sadly, the boys that get the back seats will not have the massaging seats. And to open up the back, you just pop your hand in there, just click the button, and it opens for you. Some massive trunk space because, well, it's an X5 at heart. And an X5 is getting you around town in style. And with the push of a button, closes right back down, and you're good to go. Now I know talking can only do so much, so we're gonna hop in the X5M and really give her a, a rip see what she can do, hear the exhaust, and hopefully not get arrested. Let's go, baby. But before we get out on the road, I'm gonna let you guys hear what this thing sounds like in a parking garage, which is gonna be absolutely wonderful. So first, I'm gonna rev it three times with the valves closed, and I'm gonna hit the button right here and open up the valves so you can really hear this BMW V8 scream. Hop on back there. <laughs> We've had our fun let's get lost so while we're still in the garage just cruising getting a massage you can see all around here the like ambient light get nice purple going on it's something you wouldn't see during the day but here in the parking garage it looks very very nice it just runs up along the dash down on the passenger and driver sides and I'm pretty sure you can change it with a setting in the infotainment system so that is pretty cool as well. Let's hit the highway, boys. All right, guys, here we go. First pull in the X5 and foot to the floor. Dang! Oh my God, this thing rips, dude. This is a car, 100%. It just like, I can't even explain it. Hold on, it's very torquey. Let's do that again. No police. Here we go! Dang! That's all I can say is dang. And this thing handles like a beast. It's so big, but at the same time, it's so nimble. And I think we can flick it. Yeah, and do paddle shifter mode. There are donut marks here, but we will not be doing donuts today. All right, here we go again. This is this is freaking great. And that transmission is just so freaking fast. That is a awesomely built car. All right, so the, we put the car in M mode now. After this Jeep, we're really going to get to see what the M is all about. Here we go. Here we go. See ya! Oh, 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 yeah, baby. It just needs some pop 
bumps and bangs that the M3 and M4 have, and this thing is a proper, pro, like, I want to say it's a sports car, but it's a freaking SUV, which is super weird. It just, like, it throws you back into your seat. 600 horsepower is nothing to shake a stick at. No way, Jose. And it sounds really good, too. I'm sure once you open it up, get a tune, this thing is a beast. I'm sure someone will do that, too, because these cars are not that hard to come by so everyone's gonna get them oh, oh, oh. and the brakes work too you can just slam on the brakes that's a bmw baby sheesh just a couple seconds and you are definitely at go to jail speeds in this car what you mean that's what all car guys want, right? Just one, two, you're going to jail. If you guys need a road trip mobile for the family or the boys or something, and you guys need some room and need to go fast, come hit up BMW of West Houston, man. They got this one on the lot for you guys. Beautiful spec, got the nice white and black leather interior, the beautiful blue on the outside, and the whopping V8 to back it up. So sadly, we cannot keep this car forever as much as I would like to. So, we gotta go give her back now and go back to normal life. But we'll give you one more pull before we do that. The driver's seat in this car is a very nice place to be. Such a large windshield as well. You just feel like you're on top of everything, which is much different from, you guys know I have the FRS, but this is just super nice. And you can take it every day, everyday driving doing anything you don't scrape you don't oh it's so nice dude it's so nice all right let's give her the beans one last time no police oh my god this thing is a and one more time before we take her home. Oh, geez. That number goes up so freaking fast. And poor Jordan hit her head. All right, guys. That has been the review of the 2021 BMW X5 M. If you guys are interested in getting this car, please head over to BMW of West Houston and say Sinclair Photo sent you for the hookup price. I didn't say the sticker price of the car this entire video and I want you guys to guess it right now in the comment section below before I say it I'll give you five four three two one did you do it because this car is a hundred and twenty one thousand five hundred dollars all specked out the way it is right now a hundred and twenty one thousand five hundred dollars you can get a lot of cars for that price, but would you buy the BMW X5 M for $121,000? I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments section below. Please let me know what you guys thought of the car. And if you wanna see more reviews on the channel, please comment which cars you would like to see me review. I'm not all into the stats and all that stuff. I know what I want out of a car and that is just for it to be fun. And this car checked all the boxes comfort, speed, everything. This is a really good car. Maybe if it was just a little bit cheaper, then maybe we could consider getting one someday. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.